if you can only do one thing a day, you can only do one thing a day. And that's fine. Progress is progress no matter how fast or slow you're going. It's just about making progress and doing what's good for you. Hi everybody, I'm Alicia and I am a full-time artist. And um, I posted about leaving my job uh, last week or whenever the last video was posted. And so today is actually my first day um, working from home, like not being employed by anybody. Like I'm self-employed, but not being on anyone's payroll. So today's my first day and I'm so excited. I got to take my time this morning. I got to, you know, read my Bible. I got to listen to a podcast. I got to really like take a shower and um, really just take my time and tidy up a bit. So I'm loving this already. <laughs> Um, I always have like days off at work, but there's nothing like knowing that you don't necessarily have to be somewhere the next day or um, the next two days, whether they be on the weekend or whatever, um, and know that everything that you're doing, you're putting work into your own business and your own dream and your own goals. So I'm really excited. So I wanted to make a video today just kind of with like some practical tips like for other artists out there. I struggle with time management. I struggle with organization. I struggle with trying to figure out what's important and what's not and what's just kind of filler and busy work. And also I think like working from home, it's really distracting because you can think of a million and one things to do. Whether that be clean your room, clean the bathroom, cook something to eat, uh, run some errands. Like you really have to be intentional about carrying out the duties necessary to carry your business or your art or whatever. You have to be super intentional. For me, I like to focus on the big picture first. So that might be like my yearly goals for each of my focuses. So my focuses are photography, music, writing, and a project that I have going on with my husband. For each one of those topics, I have a focus for the year or a goal for the year. Then I break it down into quarterly goals. So then that's January through March, April through June and July and so forth and so forth. So there's four quarters in the year. I break those down into quarterly focuses. Right now my focus is like building because like I'm in the beginning stages of everything. <laughs> I'm basically starting from scratch, like everything, just redoing everything, revamping everything. So my focus for this quarter is just like building and really like focusing in on what the vision is for all these things. Then from the quarterly goals, I go into monthly goals. And so from monthly goals, I go into weekly goals, which goes into daily goals. And that really helps me because I'm not confused about what I should be focusing on while I'm at home working. You know, I feel like there are a million and one things, like I said before, that I could be doing, but what should I be doing right now? If my focus is on the first quarter goals, I don't need to be doing stuff that's gonna be done in the second quarter. So that eliminates a bunch of things and a bunch of overwhelm that I might feel from having such a big to-do list. So for example, I'm gonna show you what my notebook looks like. This is February, it's a little F-E-B. And next to it is my name, and so that's like my stuff. So um, most of it is just saying begin, 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 whether that be begin recording covers, begin um, recording music, begin vlogging or whatever, or building, or like edit my website or something. And for photography, I might have something else. Because I have those focuses in the month, then I can do weekly goals. Okay, so this week I wanna do number one on my list if I have five, and there's five weeks in a month. If I have five, things to do, then every week that month I can do something, like one thing on that to-do list. So I'm not overwhelmed. I don't feel like, I'm like, oh God, how can I do all this stuff? If I take one thing at a time, and that's really my goal for this year is like one step at a time. Instead of trying to do everything, take your time and adjust the schedule if you need to. But um, if I focus on one thing for one week, all should go well. So since I write down everything I wanna do for the next few months, like I have the next three months, the focus is on here. And again, leave room for stuff to change because stuff will change and life happens. Give yourself grace. Then I have a weekly schedule. On the top row, I have Sunday, Monday, all the way to Saturday. It has times from 5 a.m. to 10 p.m. And um, on the bottom, I have like the week's focus. Yeah, it has the focus for the week. On my schedule, I include everything. I make time for everything. So I write down when I plan to wake up. I write down when I plan to do my morning routine, when I have to take my husband to the metro, my travel time. And again, this is from a schedule when I was still working. So I would include my, my commute times. I'm in here too. And again, give or take, you know, 30 minutes or so, depending on the traffic. I would include my workout. I would include cooking. I would include lunch, grocery shopping. I would include everything because I wanna make sure that what I'm doing is being written down and also that it's gonna be easy for me to keep track of my time. If I'm just kind of like, oh, wake up in the morning, what should I do today? I'm gonna to waste time trying to figure out what I'm gonna to do today. Or I'm gonna to spend time doing something I shouldn't be working on right now. 
So I want to make sure that everything, everything is a, is like accounted for, um, that there's time allotted for the things that I need to do. And um, whether that be, again, taking care of myself, going to the doctors. And honestly, also, I want to make sure that I'm being realistic. I'm going to show you an old schedule that I have. On my days off, I used to pack my day with everything. And I mean everything. The Thursday is not filled with anything because I was traveling that day, right um, here. But every other day is filled to the brim with something, right? And do you think I got all that done? No. I overwhelmed myself and you know, on this day, on Tuesday, I was getting stuff done. You can see the check marks. I was getting stuff done, but then I got really burnt out and overwhelmed by the afternoon. Yeah, I didn't get any of that done. <laughs> I think being realistic with yourself is like what's most important. If you can only do one thing a day, you can only do one thing a day and that's fine. Progress is progress no matter how fast or slow you're going. It's just about making progress and doing what's good for you. For example, I know that most of my energy and most of my drive comes in the morning. So I'm not gonna schedule a whole bunch of stuff at nighttime because by then I'm gonna be burnt out. I'm gonna be tired. I go to sleep, you know, I get sleepy around like 9.30. So I'm not gonna schedule myself to work until the wee hours of the morning. It's just not gonna work for me. Unless I'm overcome with inspiration and passion, it's not gonna happen. So this is my old one is not work. Some of the stuff is just email someone and I give myself 30 minutes to do that. I give myself time for eating and I also give myself breaks. I wanna set up my schedule so that like I'm working all morning and then in the afternoon, I'm good. Like I don't have to keep working all day long because honestly you have to refill your well. You have to like give yourself breaks in order to be a productive artist. I even have time on here on Fridays, which I didn't really have before to like just rest, to do nothing, to literally take myself on a date. Um, I'm doing Artist's Way. I recommend that book to any artist out there. And one of the things that um, is a requirement is to take yourself on an artist date. And that means just doing something that you just want to do for fun. And it just helps you refill your well. If we're giving, giving, giving all week and we make no time to give back into ourselves, you're going to be pouring nothing because you're going to run dry. And again, from the week, the weekly goal, I create a daily schedule to work towards that weekly goal. And it's little things like, again, record one podcast, edit the website, you know, and being specific, what am I editing on that website? Eat lunch, <laughs> you know, I have to be well, exercise, practice the guitar for 30 minutes. So yeah, so I would encourage you to make a schedule like this and to keep schedule, keep a timer near you, keep like an alarm clock going. So like, okay, I worked on the podcast for an hour and a half and now that time is over, even if I'm finished or not, I need to move on to the next thing. And I found that this has been really helpful for me. I'm just, because the week is just starting, uh, yesterday was President's Day, so today's Tuesday. Um, I'm going to be creating another schedule um, that doesn't include my work schedule, so that'll be fun. I encourage you all to create a schedule for yourself, make room in your schedule, even in between the things, like just buffer time, just to like recalibrate and relax and you know, if something runs over, you're not stressed out. If something, you know, runs under, then it's, it feels good. You can move on to the next thing if you want to. But yeah, I feel like a schedule is vitally important. It'll help you stay on task, it'll help you stay focused, and it'll help you feel like you're actually being productive because you're not just doing busy work. You're doing focused work on an actual goal, leading to a huge goal at the end of the year. So I hope this was helpful. I might share some other tips that I find along the way. If this no longer works for me, update you all with that. But um, I just wanted to encourage every other artist out there um, to just keep doing the daggone thing. Um, we're all starting from ground zero and we're all gonna make it, whatever making it means for you. Use the tools, use Excel, use Sheets, and be productive. Yay, that's all I got. So until next time, see y'all.